Okay, so we are back here and we're going to assemble this diesel heater today. So we got to pull out all this garbage here. Figure out what the first step is going to be. I got to tape this up from the last video. If you didn't watch my last unboxing video of this heater, uh, look on the playlist below. But I undid this heater shroud and I've got to tape it back up. This is high heat tape so it won't. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that. See, this thing's so tight here, I'm not going to be able to get it around. Not the greatest tape job, but it'll work. Okay, I think next step is we'll go ahead and put the exhaust, the exhaust on here. Okay, so they equipped us with a janky muffler, and there should be two brackets here, and there's just one. Oh boy, it's one of them days. We've got. Three, four inches of snow, temps drop back down to 21 degrees. Not real happy about winter. I'm ready for this shit to be over. These screws here will be your plastic type screws where they don't necessarily have an end. And I believe there's two of these here. Okay, so there is just a slight difference that one is smaller for the intake side than the exhaust where the exhaust is too big to fit in here. So make sure you get the right hanger. I don't really know which way this is supposed to go. I think I'm just going to put it upside down like that is what I'm going to do. Then these are our plastic screws. Uh, make sure we get them threaded in there. Once I get it run in, then I'm going to back it off. Because they just put a little hole there to get you started. And go ahead and do both holes. Uh, first make it easier when you put the bracket on. We'll get one screw in here first. Then we'll 
get the second screw put in. And then we'll tighten it up. This bracket might be upside down. I'm not real sure which way it goes. I don't think it matters personally. You can put it the other way if you want. Okay. Then what we want to do, well now that's a problem. That doesn't fit. What's going on here? That doesn't fit the that doesn't fit the pipe. Well, farts. This is the exhaust pipe they sent with it. It's the same diameter. Why would they have done that? Well, that's not going to... needs to go on the outside. Huh, it's like they just cut it to get it to fit in the box so they didn't have to... Look at that, the weld runs right to that and that side's cut shorter. They cut. Well, I've got a 40 or a 90 gonna have to try to 90 it. Well, I've got my 90 here and it won't work because this is 24 millimeters to 24 millimeters. The pipe that they send is 24 millimeters. You've got to have a extension piece. I'll put the link in the description below. You've got to have an extension for this. And then to get the pipe bent, that's, eh. Well, it's not what I wanted to do here. Huh. Well, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and use that extension. So when you buy this kit, make sure you get an extension or you won't get this put together. Oh wow, this thing's all fudged up here. Come on now. have to get the exhaust then I'll have to bend the exhaust pipe Ugh. get it put on here Come on now. 
bad enough I got raccoons running around my yard. I don't want to fight with this fucking thing. Them coons shit all over my deck. Little, look like little piles of goat shit on my white deck, little fuckers. Hell, I can't even get that on there. There we go. Get this thing up on there. Oh, great. Now I can't get it through the... Oh, my God. It's going to be one of them videos, y'all. Oh, my God. Come on, now. There we go. Oh, get that clamp on there. And once you get that on, we're just going to tighten this clamp here. this thing. I want this thing nowhere near the, the exit. Uh, well, I mean, that that's that's good, I guess. Let's see if we can get our hose on here. So that would clear the exhaust. Thank God. Okay. Now that uh, the exhaust is on, what is going on here? We gotta put our muffler on. Maybe. Ugh. Oh, this video is going to be a disaster. Boy, that looks janky as hell. <laughs> Get that clamp put on there. Oh, now that clamp's a different size. Get this clamp put on here. Seven millimeter. Make sure the muffler's all the way down. Okay, same thing on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and put our our plastic screws. Try to get them fit in first. And then we'll put our bracket in. And they'll actually cut into the plastic a little bit. It's like pre-drilling a hole. Put a little force on it. I looked up the picture on Amazon and these brackets were upside down like this. You could probably put them on either way. Again, if you're looking for a good portable heater, this is uh, one of your better options for the price. If I got a link. I'll put it in the description below. And we might have to put this the other way. 
to clear the intake fan. I'm going to have to put this one upside down here. If anybody has any tips for raccoons, I sure could use some tips. I don't know what the hell to do with these little things. A lot of people don't understand how dangerous these raccoons are. They're one of the only creatures around here in the Midwest that have thumbs. Those little opposable thumbs. They'll grab your dog, your cat, they'll open garbage lids, they'll get up in my attic and mess with my heater. They'll get on my deck, shit all over it. Hate to shoot them. I mean, I can't discharge a weapon again in town. It freaks everybody out. I'm gonna, I'll probably end up having to go buy a crossbow or something. Shoot, shoot them with a crossbow. Okay, this is where the air intake goes, so we'll, we'll get that put on. Okay, go ahead and get our little. Oh, well, that ain't gonna work. Oh, oh, now they're gonna send me flatheads. So this kit's got a little bit of everything in it. Next time I go to the pawn shop there in Jacksonville, see if they got a good crossbow in there. I want to shot. I ain't no good with bow and arrow. I'll shoot anything with a posable thumb shitting on my deck with a crossbow. Okay, get our bracket on there. Sure that thing's on there now. How am I supposed to tighten that if that goes in there? Yeah, I gotta go from this side. Oh, I do have to go from this side. to get it from this side to get in there I remember I had problems with the one I built and I had to put uh, silicone on this this part of it to get it to seal just gotta run this through here now they probably probably cut that but I don't think I'm going to look how fucking tall it is well I'm gonna go ahead and leave that put this air filter on this thing twist on there. Boy, that's funky looking, ain't it? That's an awful lot of weight on there. back and trim that 
we'll have to go ahead and get the the gas tank next. I have to figure out where I'm gonna punch my hole through and show you how to do that. Okay, if you want to put a larger tank on or something of that sort, I actually have a uh, a video on a 10 liter tank if you go to my channel there. This is our tap for our fuel here. There's not a whole lot of pieces here. We won't use these two metal threaders, whatever you call them. You're going to have two rubber seals. One's going to go onto the tap and the other is going to go on before the nut goes on. There's a little crease inside the nut that'll create that a rubber seal. And I always use thread uh, gasket sealer when I tap this tank. But I'm not 100% sure where to tap it at. And put that tap right on the end there. And I'm going to use a step drill bit and you should go seven millimeter but I don't have a seven millimeter drill because I'm not going to search for one so we're just going to use a step drill bit go between six and eight and then we're going to gasket seal it okay get our battery in our impact drill I did have a new step drill got it off of the Timu Timu and it's got a seven and I'm going to just go ahead and on the outside here of the tank not the inside I'm going to go to the outside and we're going to go to uh, six there's five I'm going to go to six make sure my memory serves me correctly and we cannot fit in at six so we're going to go to a seven so we're at six. Need to go one more step drill. Go to seven. It should be a tighter fit now. It is. It's it's pretty tight. Then I'm gonna show you real quick how to get that into the tank. Need to get some metal wire. Oh, hopefully I'm not going to be out of metal wire. Harbor Freight's got it. That should be enough. God, this metal wire is lasting me years. Ugh. Go ahead and cut our metal wire here. that aside what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our hole like so and we're gonna try to get up through our lid <laughs> if you try to go the other way through the lid and, and down to that little hole, you'll never make it. Go from the bottom to the top. And when you see the wire, go ahead and pull it. So we've got our wire here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tap, push it through our wire, and we're just gonna let it fall. Make sure that that O-ring's on there now. And we're gonna let it fall down the wire hopefully come on now and try to get it to come through that hole like so okay so if you get it out like this you need to have a set of needle nose pliers which I don't have right now need to get your set of needle nose pliers and pull it. Now it's pretty tight at seven millimeter. 
Oh boy, about lost in it back into the tank. I don't want to do that. Then we're going to take it and I'm going to try to thread it. This might take you a minute. And it may not. You might be able just to get it. Am I going the right way? Ugh, come on now. Ugh. Okay, the thread's starting to come through. done a few of these. Try not to mangle the tap up. If you drill the hole bigger you won't have to do this. And what will happen when you put your nut and your other washer on there, it'll pull it. So I gotta try to bottom the the piece out, which I think I am bottomed out. Pretty sure. Yeah, it feels bottomed out. I've got about as much of it that I can get through. I mangled it up a little bit, but who gives a shit? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of exhaust gasket sealer. I've had really good luck with that. It's not a fuel dressing, but diesel isn't real highly corrosive. We're going to get a seal from our O-rings, but this is just an extra precaution for me to get this thing sealed up. Because I don't care what it looks like. I don't want this thing leaking. After I get some exhaust dressing on there, we're going to put our little rubber O-ring on there, and we're going to go and start threading, threading onto the, the fuel tap here. And this nut is a 12 millimeter. And you're going to feel it hit the tank. mess that stuff makes. Once it hits the tank, you're just going to give it... Well, you ain't going to do nothing if you don't grab the tap. Go ahead and grab the tap with your needle nose. Then you'll have to tighten it down. should be good. Then I've got a good seal with my gasket sealer. If it leaks, I'll be putting more sealing on it. It ain't gonna leak though. on get my gloves back on then you'll want to pre hit these holes these holes are formed inside the tank nope you use a drill bit a punch a screw or something to push through it's really thin well this is a dumb problem to have Plastic so soft, there's just a little bit of overmold in these holes. See the little holes I made. Oh, 
fuck, I fucked that up. Well, maybe I didn't fuck that up. A lot of YouTubers would have cut that out. You've got a lot more play there than I thought. Make sure our bolts go through. All right, move to the next step. Okay, next step is we will have to install the gas tank. I'm actually going to wait 24 hours to run this with the gas tank because of the gasket sealant. And our holes have nuts or some kind of insert in it already on the inside. And the bolts that they send are 10 millimeters. So we'll go ahead that one started. Then put this second one in. I'll tell you, they got the assembly of this thing down besides the little hiccup I had with the exhaust. come back and we'll we'll tighten it up And this is why the tap was put in the front here instead of the back or back farther underneath. I wanted it on the front of the tank. We're just going to take it. It's going to run the gas hose to the front. And that way we can run less hose. I'm not going to change the hose like I said I was going to in the last video. I'm going to go ahead and run this green hose that they sent with it. And there is a bracket here that I'm not sure what it goes to. You know, because I'm a man with a nut sack. We, we, there's just something about having a nut sack that, you know, if you have a nut sack, you reading directions is uh, very slim when you start a project. Furniture, it doesn't matter anything. There's just something about it. So we'll go ahead and get this get this fuel fuel line. Run. I'm trying to figure out where the hell the the bracket this bracket goes I have I, I have no idea what this goes to none zero I have no idea I do not know so it's not getting installed okay get the little nipple off there get our fuel line out Like so. Oh boy. Get this fuel line untangled. Oh, they actually sent these clamps. Oh, they got fuel line clamp. Not a big fan of these clamps from China. China. But we'll go ahead and use them. That's what's in the kit. I guess I shouldn't show me modifying stuff too much. Okay, now we got a problem. The fuel hose does not want to go onto the tap because it's too small. Ugh. Well, I guess I can get it on there. I was going to heat it up, but I'm getting, I'm getting it on there now. You want to push it all the way to the stem if you can. Like so. We're 
we're going to bring our clamp up get our clamp put on put our clamp on there we go then we're going to run all of our fuel line here I'm going to run it over the air intake instead of under it I'm telling you that bracket has to go somewhere for this to hold this I wonder if maybe I'll probably end up tapping just a If I got a zip tied or something, we gotta cut our hose here. Oh, come on, spaghetti! Fucking spaghetti hose. I'm sorry, I'm on edge. It's Saturday, between the raccoons and the the toilet situation I had to deal with at work last night. I've been a janitor for 16 years. Someone left me a mess in the toilet that I just put my hands on my hips and I just, I, I just, I, I was baffled. I, I never seen nothing like it ever. To think, I, I mean, this guy needs to go to a doctor that did this to me. To shit a toilet up like that and then just walk out. Is just unbelievable to leave a mess like that for a janitor. We're just going to push this fuel hose up. And if you got to use heat, you might have to use a little bit of heat. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that bracket there. I have no idea. We're gonna use that bracket. Well, before I use that bracket, kind of want to see what I'm. What the fuck was that? See what I'm working with here. Looks like I put it in the corner and not have any problems up top. I didn't drill into nothing, which I didn't. Then we'll just zip tie that. Well, 
Oh, you want to talk about something going up in price? Them zip ties, they're going up in price. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. There we go. And that's pretty much it for the assembly of this bad boy. I don't like that. That, that thing's actually at a little bit of an angle, that fuel pump. But I'm, I'm telling you, it's not at the angle it needs to be. It needs to be. I wonder if I can bend that. That tab looks like I can bend it. I'm gonna try to bend this. Uh, there we go, that's a little bit of a different angle there. Well, that'll give us our angle. I just bent that tab down. Okay, so that concludes assembly. Come out here tomorrow. I'll put just a little bit of fuel in this thing and make sure it's going to fire up. The one thing is, this is your wire harness that you would use on your car. Positive red. Looks like red and black would be your negative. I'm going to end up running the transformer. The transformer kit. Link in the description below. Especially if you want to, you know, test run in the house. So I will run this off the transformer. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.